guys, I thought I'd um, spend a little bit of time and uh, show you some updates on where I've got to uh, with the scheduler. Um, conceptually, um, not a lot has changed in the UI. Um, on this side here, I still have my playlists. Um, uh, each playlist can be scheduled, which is what this is, and I really haven't made any progress with actually building the scheduling function out. I've been mainly concentrating on the playing functionality, um, which is working reasonably well. Um, I'll start with a simple one. There's this virtual Santa one, um, which contains a single video effect, which plays a MP4 file. Um, the video has got a position, uh, which you can see, uh, here, um, it's going to occupy the whole screen, but we can make that smaller. Um, we can bring it in and make it a smaller window like that. Um, and so when it plays um, like this, you can see it comes up and occupies it. And so video all works. Um, the other stuff that works, um, here you've got a FSCQ file um, with an audio attached, uh, that works. Um, here you're displaying a, a, an image file, which could be you know, something to go onto a, a projector for a tune to sign or something, a static image. Um, and here I've actually got two video effects. And the concept is that within a step, which is what this is, everything here will start simultaneously, although you can set delay times to slow them down so that they don't start all at the same time, but in this case they will. And so when you play that, um, it takes a second or so to start because, and so you can't hear it, but the audio is going on and there's a couple of videos here and an image. So um, you could imagine placing those videos onto individual screens or projectors, et cetera, and, and, and running your show that way. Um, if I had Wireshark running, it actually was also sending out all the E131 data as well. So all of that stuff's all working. So pretty much the player side of it's working. Uh, there are a couple of other things here. Um, there's a couple other types. So there's the ESCQ type. This is the model um, type playing that's there. Um, there is an all set function. So this allows you to basically set, um, in this case, for one frame, we're setting everything in your show entirely to zero, so off, um, but you can also turn things on. Um, and I'm also working on the concept of blending. So when you sequence multiple things at once, you can blend them together, but I haven't really made a lot of progress with that yet. Um, I've also added PJ Link. Um, so PJ Link is a, a over the network protocol for controlling projectors, turning them on, turning them off. Um, these are the commands that are available. You know, turn the power on and off, um, change the input and mute video and audio. Um, so that's pretty much the entire um, capabilities that are look useful in the spec. So that's all that's been included. Um, what else is there? Uh, there's a delay step which just basically stops it doing anything. Uh, there's a process step, so uh, you can define a process here which um, you know launches uh, any process. So uh, a process which might go and call a web page or do something. I, I don't know what you want to do, but basically you can trigger any process to run at a particular point in time. Um, in the playlist. So the playlist is made up of multiple steps and in theory of course it will progress through the steps and that's also not written yet but we don't need to demonstrate that yet. Down here you have a set of buttons here you've got pause, play selected and stop all and, and they do work so if I go back to my okay Not encouraging. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about that. It stopped in the debugger. Let's continue. Do you hate it when you're doing a demo and it fails like that? All right. So if I come back here to the virtual center and I start playing it, 
I can click on pause and it will actually pause uh, everything that's going on, including the data that's going out. If you click pause again, it will resume um, and I can stop it, etc. cetera. Um, but here's the cool thing. One of the things that I've realized is that uh, the buttons that are down here, everyone has got a different opinion about what needs to be there. Um, so under the options, um, I've actually set up a bunch of options where you can go and define what you want to do. So if I want a button that plays the virtual Santa, I can go in here and I can create a button called play Santa. Um, what do I want it to do? Well, I want it to play a specified playlist and that playlist is the one that I've named virtual Santa. So now I've got a play Santa button and if I click on play Santa button, it plays Santa. Um, so conceptually, uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of uh, different commands here um, that I'll be looking to build out. Um, this won't be the end of it. There'll be many, many more, but you know, you can stop specific playlists, you can pause, you can jump to the next or restart the current step or go to the prior step or play a particular playlist at a particular step and so forth. So there's, there's a fair bit that you'll be able to do there and, and you'll be able to uh, fully customize these buttons as they appear down here. So that's all pretty cool. Um, but uh, it's no FPP, right? You, you'd love to use your phone out there and uh, use a web interface. And while I haven't built a web interface yet, um, it is going to be controllable from the browser. So let me, let me bring up my browser. Um, and here's a URL here, it's going to my local machine um, and passing in a query which is saying we'll get the playing status. And of course, in this case, it's idle, nothing's playing. So, so let's kick Virtual Santa off again. And we'll go and do a refresh. And now it tells you that actually it's playing uh, Virtual Santa. It's in the step called Virtual Santa HD4. It's four minutes and four seconds long. It's currently three seconds in and there's about four minutes and one second left. And you can see as I keep refreshing it, that time goes up. Um, so someone could build a web page or we could build some sort of uh, web app, et cetera, which can call these APIs, which can get this sort of detail. But what happens if instead, what you wanna do is you wanna actually control it? Well, there's a couple of those as well. So here's the stop API. So if I come up here, press control V, paste it, press enter. And of course, now you can't see it because it wasn't up at the time, but it has actually stopped it. So if I play Santa again, come back here and resubmit it, it stops. Um, so pretty much everything that you could build down here as a button is going to be um, available here um, as something that you can uh, build a web page and send that particular URL to your machine and you'll be able to control it. So um, already been speaking to um, a couple of other guys who are, who are looking at saying, well, maybe I can build some sort of web page or something that will sit on the front end of that. Um, so that's all working as well. Um, and I guess that's about it right now. Uh, there's a few things I really do need to get working. I, I do need to get uh, a multi-step playlist working so that they loop through the individual steps correctly. Um, that will then let me get some of the things like jump to the next and jump back and all that sort of stuff working. Um, there's still a lot of testing to be done around the player. And then when I'm pretty happy that the player's working correctly, I can start getting in and working on the, the scheduler and making sure that I can actually schedule that playlist to work correctly. So, you know, a week in, it's looking okay. All right. Thanks, guys.